Welcome back to another video. It has been an eternity since I've made a video. About a month now, uh, Hannah and I got married, so I got a little bit of footage and a little bit of a, a vloggy thing to show you for that. What else has been happening? I took the Canyon back to Canyon. Uh, I have replaced it with a titanium custom built frame which I've shared on Instagram the plasti dip fondriest I've removed all the plasti dips and now it's back to just being a nice fondriest paint job but for now I want to show you guys we went to the aquarium in the city and I took my camera with Jack we just wanted to show Jack the fishies so I got a little bit of smooth silky b-roll footage <laughs> All right, yeah, pretty sick. That was uh, it was a good day out. Uh, I quite enjoyed taking the footage, uh, and I quite enjoyed having Jack run around and see all the fishies. But I wasn't the vegan in me uh, wasn't a big fan of the penguins behind the behind the glass, and uh, and and the crocodile just sitting there and he's lonesome. Unnecessary. You don't need to. Uh, the fish are fine. We can just go see the fish. The kids just want to go. Wow, well, look at the fish, and that's it. Uh, we don't need crocodiles and. Um, Sorry, I'm receiving text messages. I'll turn the phone off in a sec. I finally took the little red riding hood, the little red pony, back to Canyon. Yeah, so that bad boy was sitting in my shed for, it would have been two months, the best part of two months. I highly recommend them, uh, but that bike was a loner, as was the Ultimate, the Canyon Ultimate that I had before that. So I had a good relationship with Canyon. I still do have a good relationship with those guys. It's just that they weren't my bikes, so I really wanted to get my own bikes, um, and hence why I ordered through Sean. So Sean at the Bike Tailor connected me with someone who can do custom-built titanium frames really cheap, like super cheap. Uh, I will unveil my source and where I got this, this from uh, eventually, but I want to sort of save it as a bit of a, a secret for, not a secret, but as a surprise for upcoming videos because I want to do a series of videos building this bike up. So yeah, I've shared a little bit of this on Instagram, uh, had a lot of questions, specifically people were asking me where did I get this custom titanium frame from, which brand is it and stuff. So as I say, don't ask me just yet, stay tuned for the upcoming videos and uh, we'll go through all of that stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a cheap, I mean, let, let's face it, right? You can get a titanium frame through Borm or you know Bastion or, you know, others, um, Linsky, you know, there's there's all these well-known brands out there where you can get really high quality uh, titanium custom builds from, but you're gonna be spending a, a, a pretty penny, right? So really this, this conversation is for people who want a nice custom titanium frame, relatively inexpensive, but really still good quality. And you know, just do the whole thing saving a penny. I mean, it's mostly for people like me who have a family, you're living on a single wage, so you don't wanna spend a lot of money on bikes. So that's the premise of these whole videos. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. As I said earlier, Hannah and I got married uh, four weeks ago now, time flies. I did start a vlog, like I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't going to vlog it, but I did start a vlog on the morning of the wedding. Um, but obviously as the day went on, I got more and more stressed out and I was starting to get really anxious because we had people flying in from everywhere and there were so many things to do. Here's a little snippet of our, of our the start of our day. Wedding day, honey, how you feeling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makeup done, hair to go. Mm -hmm. It's all happening. Mm -hmm. So you're happy with everything so far, the way it's all going? Yeah. We're uh, in the city of the Punt Hill Apartments. We've got a little little room, and uh, we're going to get ready now. So this is, how do you feel now? It's happening. It is happening, hey? In two hours, you and I are going to be husband and wife. 
<laughs> help me, send help. Are you going to behave yeah. yourself tonight? Well, you'll be going home early with Brooke. If you Are you can't. going to behave yourself tonight, rat bag? <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> you better. So yeah, that's where I finished uh, filming. We obviously ended up going to the wedding. Uh, Sean, Ke uh, Sean Keir, Gene and his lovely wife came and took some great footage of us at the wedding. So they took a lot of photos and a lot of video. Look, it was a fantastic day. I was pretty stressed, to be honest with you. And I think the, the best part about it was just having all our friends and family come in from, Hannah's family coming in from New Zealand, my friends and family coming in from Perth. And uh, we even had Ross and Katie fly over from the UK. A lot of you guys would have seen Ross and Katie in previous videos when we were doing the 2017 tour. And so, yeah, it was really good to see those guys. We actually went for a ride. I went for a ride with Ross. It turned out to be a bit, of, a bit of a rainy day, but here's a bit of footage from that. That's, that's full UK British glove action. Are you, are you warm enough, Princess? <laughs> I'm a little bit toasty, actually. I'm wearing everything I bought. <laughs> So did I ever tell you guys about the time I went cycling? I think I've told you about it 500 times. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna tell you again. Ross and I are out cycling. It's the first sort of really cold day of, um, of the Melbourne winter, the Australian winter. It's, uh, you can see we're rugged up pretty well. So uh, yeah, a bit, bit tears. It's considering it's been nice weather for the last few days. All right, we've had some rain. How are we going, boys? How's the shoes? Soaking. Fucking Melbourne can eat a dick, can't it? The weather is tears. I'm absolutely saturated. And uh, first ride back, saturated. Fucking kill me now. Yeah, so it turned out to be a bit of a stinker with the weather, but... Um, yeah, all up. I mean, it was just good to hang out with Ross and get back on the bike again. It's never good when you've had a break from riding the bike and you go out for the first time and go out into to wet, rainy weather. Uh, it's not a motivating factor getting back into cycling, but it was good to hang out with the boys and, and just go for a pedal. And that's about it, Legends. That's about all there is in this video today. We have done some little family outings to the beach and stuff, uh, which were fun. Um, obviously, Hannah's family were here staying with us. Their mum and dad were staying with us, helping with the babysitting. And we went and did a couple of adventures in the city. And someone's at the front door. I'll be right back. By the way, if you live in Australia... Uh, Marley Spoon is f absolutely fantastic. They do really good dishes. Uh, it's pretty cheap and they're sort of, they mix it up. So yeah, not a sponsored ad, but uh, we love these guys. We get this every week. All right, so one thing I did forget to mention is the Plasti Dipped Fondriest. Uh, in a, f a few videos ago, I showed you guys that I you know, got some Plasti Dip and covered up the Fondriest and uh, painted it completely matte black. Now, one thing I didn't like was the finish. It was a really rubbery sort of the, the finish and the feel of the bike all over wasn't nice. And especially when you're pedaling and your knees rub up against it, it wasn't a pleasant feeling. So I decided, look, I'm going to remove all the Plasti Dip, which took me all of about 45 minutes, I would say, just peeling it back and, and uh, peeling it off. And then to finish it off where you can't get the bits and pieces off it uh, in, the, in the nooks and crannies, I just got some eucalyptus oil and then rubbed it in. Uh, some, also, another good thing that works is WD-40 or CRC, and you just spray it on and it, and it just wipes off. So completely off the frame now. I think it looks way better, to be honest with you. And so that's going to be my day-to-day -day riding bike, my training bike, my road racing bike sort of thing. And I'm going to keep using that while I build up the adventure bike. So, oi, cool story. Anyway, that is the end of the video, legends. Let me know what you think. If you've got any things that you'd like to see with the adventure bike, any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to making a good series of videos on this topic. And uh, see you, legends, in the next one.